like you said, this is kind of a heavy subject. Okay. So um, if I were out listening uh, to what you're saying, and I want to do this, I want to be able to make this kind of shift, and I'm thinking to myself, am I just not trying hard enough? Is this a matter of willpower? Do I just need to try harder? What, what are they? What would someone feeling that way? What would they be missing? Is there? Are they missing something? Well, you're assuming that they are missing something, and I, it could be. Um, when people start putting a lot of pressure on themselves, and they're dealing with being emotionally exhausted, depleted, frustrated, angry, there's a lot of times they can become super critical, blaming others um, for what's happening and also blaming themselves and getting very hard on themselves. That's just another form of rage and anger that's self-abusive and, and negative against ourselves. That's not the kind of constructive responsibility we're talking about. Do I know people do it? I've done it, we've all done it, but it doesn't help. We're not talking about that kind of self-reflection and change of thought thinking. Um, first part is a little self-care would help there. When somebody reaches that point, they are just up to here with emotional burdens and responsibilities and pain. That's a hard time to turn anything around, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. The first thing you got to do is take care of yourself. Um, and that you got to give yourself permission to know, number one, it's not selfish. It's called self-care. And during these times, one of the ways of surviving and being resilient is understanding the need for self-care. It's an ongoing challenge when you're in the work that we're in, or the part of life we're in, and the part of life that a lot of people are in these days. We got to learn that we've got to take some time out for ourselves, and we got to replenish. We've also got to dis diffuse and decompress the buildup of pent-up emotion that we've been carrying. Um, we have skills and abilities on, on, on decompressing that, and it really does have to do with how much the body, which we call a reservoir of all this pain, and trauma is, is carrying. How much pain are we in? Um, I saw a very cute, I like uh, Yellowstone, uh, yes. it's one of my favorites. Yes. But um, one of the episodes, it was last night actually, uh, the, what was it, um, what's his name? Uh, You're for, further ahead than I me. know. I can, yeah, I can, yeah. No, no, it's not him. It's the young son that's took, taking over management. Jamie. Uh, huh? Casey. 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 And his wife. Monica. Monica. And it was uh, a Native American. Don't uh, volunteer to find out some, uh, find someone who was murdering and, and raping Indian women. Anyway, she put herself in a position that she was very well monitored and protected, but she put herself in a position that was very scary. Um, eventually they, they killed the guy who was, and she was the victim. And even though she wasn't truly hurt, I mean, just to be in that presence was very painful. And uh, she did a good job, and, and the, uh, the commissioner, uh, the Indian commissioner, was very happy and grateful for her. But I remember afterwards, she was, she was talking to her husband, and she awakened a couple of days, and she said, my body hurts so much, I am in so much pain. And she had all these things that she wanted to do, be a good mother, she wanted to go to his parent-child meetings, whatever. And uh, Casey looked at her and he said, and he's a guy who's been involved in lots of bad stuff and painful stuff. Mm -hmm. And he says, yeah, I know what that feels like. I know when you've been in painful situations, I hurt like that plenty of times. Anyway, he tried to convince her that she needed to slow down and take care of herself. Mm -hmm. And to let go of some of these official kinds of things that she wanted to do as a mother and um, in the community. And since she was in so much pain, the first thing she needed to do was slow down and rest because she'd been through a trauma. And he was right. That we would have said the next part of it after that is to find somebody to help her decompress the trauma of the emotional energy and emotion and psychology and to help her with trauma recovery. She was traumatized. Her yeah. body was carrying the pain of that. I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, what people need to do, first of all, is, number one, not to be hard on themselves, but the other thing is to take responsibility without being hard on themselves and critical right. for what their body's telling them and the pain that they're in, and take care of that first. That's self-care. Then you'll be able to take care of others better. Okay.